Could a national security package that focuses on foreign aid and social media actually compromise our own domestic security? Today, we delve into the recent signing of a $95 billion national security package by President Joe Biden, an event that has ignited heated debates across the board. We rewind the clock to the genesis of this package, which was passed by both the House of Representatives and the Senate. It earmarks a significant portion of foreign aid to key geopolitical areas such as Israel, Taiwan, and Ukraine. The goal? To bolster their defenses and maintain their sovereignty reflecting the ongoing strategic interests of the United States in these regions. A particularly controversial component of this package is the potential ban on TikTok, the social media platform owned by Chinese company ByteDance. The administration's argument? This app could provide a backdoor for foreign powers to access sensitive information about American citizens. But the package has drawn its fair share of criticism. Many have highlighted the glaring omission of new measures to enhance security at the U.S. southern border. Critics argue that it seems contradictory to fund security measures abroad while overlooking pressing security needs at home. Moreover, the efficacy of banning TikTok as a national security measure is in question. With larger, potentially more potent security threats, such as the unchecked influx of migrants at the southern border, the focus on TikTok seems disproportionately high. This has spurred a broader conversation about balancing international aid with domestic security priorities. The debate around TikTok is a complex one. The app, which is used by an estimated 150 million Americans, has been banned in several countries, including India. In China, a heavily regulated version of the app exists, which sparks questions about the fairness and consistency of the U.S. approach to foreign-owned apps. Meanwhile, the lack of additional funding or strategies to enhance U.S. border security has been sidelined. Some believe that the administration is prioritizing international issues over domestic ones, possibly for political leverage or future electoral advantages. As we move forward, the effectiveness of Biden's national security strategy will likely continue to be a topic of intense debate. The decisions made today will shape America's role on the global stage and its internal security posture in the coming years. With the implementation of this package, the world will be watching to see whether these measures genuinely contribute to a safer America and a more stable world, or if they serve to exacerbate existing divisions and challenges within. In summary, the recently signed national security package, with its focus on foreign aid and potential TikTok ban, has stirred up a storm of controversy. Critics question its lack of domestic security measures and the disproportionate focus on TikTok. As the package takes effect, the world waits to see whether it will indeed bolster global stability and security or simply fuel existing divisions and challenges.